take your eyeballs out. Ah, uh, my eyeballs. Okay, so that Carry one's your resting. head off. Eh, hey, goodbye head. My name is Benjamin Oviat Weinheimer. Exactly. I'm an outpatient therapist at Provo Family Clinic, Wasatch Mental Health. Pretty much I play with toys a lot. And it's it's good therapy. I love my job. Every hour on the hour, I get to see new kids. I love the fact that I get to play all day. And more than that, I love the fact that I'm helping kids. That's something that, that I've wanted to do for for a long time. So you put one finger on the bottom string. And that's called a C. On so any given day, I'll work with kids with ADHD. I'll work with kids who've had trauma, abuse, or or other traumatic events. You can't exactly do what they do in the movies and lay a kid down on a couch and say, tell me about your mother. A lot of times kids come in and feel like they're stupid, or kids who've been abused come in and feel like they're different than everyone else. And so we get to take these people who see themselves as damaged or broken, and we get to teach them that they're strong, and we get to normalize a lot of what they feel or what has happened. The idea of how play therapy works is that kids can use toys as language. Kids can use certain toys as, as symbols. And those symbols can help us unlock as adults what's going on in a kid's mind. This is our sand tray room. Uh, we've got five shelves worth of toys. We take turns cleaning them. And uh, all of the toys are here because they have symbolic meaning. And so kids can use these toys to help get some of these feelings out. We have scary toys right here, which get used a lot when uh, kids have had trauma. I'm grateful that BYU gave me a lot of different kinds of exposure to different kinds of therapy. Uh, we covered a lot of stuff, not just theory, but the actual practical approach. I got to do a play therapy internship when a lot of other places don't offer anything like that. They don't have those kind of connections. Because there is a lot of networking with the community. There's a lot of opportunities to go out and participate. At BYU, Obviously, as with anywhere, they're not going to be able to teach you everything, but they teach you how to learn everything and where to go to find everything. Do it again, sorry. Be playing with Hannah. The one thing I tell people about being a therapist is there's a lot of job satisfaction. I considered other jobs where I could have gotten paid, I don't know, 50% more or double, but the one thing that, that I really love is coming home and my wife says, Ben, I am so proud to tell people what you do for a living. You spend your whole day helping kids. And, and that's a wonderful thing. It makes you feel so grateful that you can be part of a process that's bigger. It's a great thing to be in the neighborhood or be at church or, believe it or not, even in the grocery store or the dentist's office. And people find out what I do for a living and they'll say, my kid has this problem or I have a relative who has this problem or the neighbor next door, I've seen this, what do I do? Okay. I knew nothing about therapy when I came to BYU. And I feel so competent, I feel so well-trained being able to tell people, this is something you might consider. That's the best thing about my job, knowing that, that daily I make a difference.